Hello, and I'm Captain Emoji. This is Mysterious Gamer X. Welcome back to Endless Mode. And we are back with Cadence of Hyrule. Getting back in the groove of things. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. An acceptable level of pun. <laughs> we are on our way back to the first dungeon we found. Lost Woods. I think the Lost Woods and like the Water Temple are like two just like you're gonna get lost here or someone else. Maybe not maybe not everyone has that problem, I'm just starting to challenge, but friggin' wolves. But our buddy Tingle got us uh, something to get us out of the woods, right? Yeah. And as you helpfully informed me, those sorts of upgrades stick around even if you bite it, which is good, because I'd hate to have to re upgrade it. Yeah. Plus, we got ourselves an upgraded spear and all sorts of fun stuff, so. Now you just have to take on a lion. Ah, oh, crap, he is there. Does he only shoot arrows? Uh, fortunately. Because there are a couple times there where I was like, oh no, he's probably got some kind of secret AoE attack or something, but, uh... As long as you get out of the way of the shooty, it wasn't... It wasn't the worst thing. Hmm. At least he doesn't explode like the, uh... The big trolls that are Herox. True. Hinox? Herox? Hinox. Okay, so I need to get a power bracelet. And I need to get up to that chest. So Can you move that block? Oh yeah. yeah. Just took some damage doing it. Right. Uh what are you doing? I didn't notice he got in the way. Oh. It's fine though. Got a poison dagger, which is neat, except that the spear is just a better weapon. Not gonna lie, I got a little worried that you uh, decided to agitate the. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> Alright, Lost Swamp. You don't mess with those cluckers. <laughs> no, we do not. Not under any circumstances. You have to be cuckoo. I do like they found a way to incorporate them into the game, I suppose. I know in some of the games you can use them to uh, fly short distances, which is also fun. I, I like the idea that Zelda characters apparently have like hollow bones or something <laughs> if a if a chicken, a mostly flightless bird by our standards. Kinda, you don't think a single chicken can I mean, fly a fully grown man over? Clearly, the chickens in the uh, Zelda universe have been working out as evidenced by their appetite for destruction. Uh, my normal rules for ground-based birds probably don't apply. Okay. So I take it going over that groovy portal-looking thing would be well, it's bad a teleport. challenging? I don't know if it's good or bad. Oh. Uh, typically you're on the side of caution when it comes to road bikes, that makes sense. Not just jumping into the portal. Come out. Oh, it's uh, that explains why I looked all gooey when it was flying through the air. Poison temple. Hello. Oh. So what are those big things at the center of the stage that you've just been sort of wrecking with the spear? Uh, don't know. Those plant things? Yeah. Couldn't tell you.
Magical Tula. Been helpful to the piercing damage meant that you didn't have to care what side you hit it from. Yeah. Definitely helpful. Well, my ring's dead now, so. What did your ring do? Oh, it's the one that gave me the piercing. Oh, that's a bummer. Went on a good note, though. Yeah. That was a tight room of enemies, and probably would have been much worse without uh, the ability to just poke everything to death. Great. I do that, I don't need the money. It's hard. <laughs> I get it. The Zelda games have always had the greed rooms, where, you know, I don't need to go in here, but man, I really want that. <laughs> There's still enemies around here somewhere. You can tell because the music hasn't changed. Right. You're still in full-on dance mode. Alright. Handy dandy map. Hmm. I'm gonna have to go through the lock door. You got a key though, right? Yep. Oh yeah, there it is. Ah, I have to fight ultimate reality mode. It's like Dark Link, but Zelda. Nega Zelda. Ugh. That was not great. It went pretty well. I'm alive. You done did good. Boomerang Tower Shield. Deku Leaf. I haven't found Link yet, so Deku Leaf. Oh, are the other two uh, Link specific? Well, no, I could use the boomerang, I guess, but. And click. Can you get that uh, piece of heart? Sure. Eventually. Oh. There's no way to get at it right now, though. I think I might need Din's Fire first. Hmm. Alright, gang. We aren't in a great situation right now. You're doing great! That hurt back. Yeah, yeah. Got any more hearts in there? <laughs> well, a lot of opportunities for one in there. I see a Skultula. Oh, it's a redid. I'm very happy now that I figured out what those guys are. Great hearts. Yeah, doing good. I gotta admit, this is the jazziest dungeon tune I think I've ever heard. <laughs> Not a complaint, just really sort of grooving your way through. Oh, float boots. Hover boots. I like how he sings. It's very good. I'm, I'm glad that carried over from the uh, Kryptonite Girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Along with uh, both games having a penchant for, like, super buff shopkeepers. <laughs> yeah, he did kind of kick my butt, didn't he? Yeah. I mean, you were just trying to blast that to made all that gold. Didn't know he was going to get caught in blast. Yeah. Nice job on that, uh, wizard. I didn't even know he was in there. Me. Uh, I'm 
Man, I feel like every room has been just chock full of bad guys. Mushroom was that? Exploding one. No, that was a an option. Kind of terrifying. Yeah, the fauna in uh, Hyrule is Ooh, definitely awesome. terrifying. I like these transitions between parts of the dungeon, where you end up back outdoors. Oh yeah. Okay. That's how I get in. Huh. Ha. Ah. Take that. Clever. Kind of reminds me of a, a Baba is you puzzle of how do I push that the right direction to get in there? Yeah. Now, I'm mostly doing this because I can't remember if it gets you a thing or not. Oh? Just... No, nothing. Okay. Well, let's go fight a boss. Greetings, holder of the Triforce. My name is Octavo, and Hyrule belongs to me, at least for now. If you don't like it, see if you can stop me. That is the declaration of a mid-boss if I've ever heard one. <laughs> At least for now. Yep. At least until the boss gets back from his break. I'll be waiting at the top of Hyrule Castle. You'll need to find all four of my magic instruments to reach me there. Okay. He's even introducing people. That's fun. Alright, so what's the Maraca monster? Hello. Go Maracas. I like it. Nice. So, I'm just gonna take a guess. You still have to just punch him in the eyeball a bunch? Yeah. Oh, wow, that's a very projectile heavy monster. It's not too tough. No, but uh, I'm just noticing how much terrain stuff uh, he does. Yeah. Uh, summoning more plants and vines. And... Fortunately, I had a spear. <laughs> definitely, definitely what you want for that one. Yeah. But uh, but no, like between being able to hit you with the webbing, the uh, the vines, and then just the smaller gomaracas. The spit monsters. Yeah, these get pretty crazy. I could see if you if you take if you dawdle on that map, I could see uh, I could see that one getting really choked up real mm -hmm. quick. You got the maracas. You can feel a magical aura when you hold them. This may help you stop Octavo. Well, next time on endless mode, that went really well. Yeah, just just three to go, just like the game said. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and we'll catch you later.